Hello guys, I'm here to show you a good tip on how to properly remove a USB port just like this one. These are uh, notebook motherboards I'm showing to you right now. I have uh, USB ports, two USB ports here. And here's another one that has one USB port on this side and two USB ports on the opposite side. Okay, let me try to show you how to remove this particular USB port here. This is not broken. Uh, this is just only to physic. I mean, broken, uh, physically broken. Uh, I'm just here to just show you how to take it out, and later on I will just put it back. Uh, usually, most technicians they they use uh, soldering iron with a uh, suction tool uh, to take out the old solder so that they can remove uh, the port but later on in the in this video I will show you a better way to take out a USB port uh, a DC power jack a uh, video uh, port or multiple uh, uh, leg uh, components okay so uh, I will be introducing a uh, solder flux a solder flux makes a the solder uh, uh, it, it melts the solder ease quickly than without using it and of course uh, you you will also use a solder wire or a solder lead so okay so let me show you the conventional method um, it it takes more time to take out the component using the solder soldering tool or uh, the soldering iron let me uh, put some uh, flux on the pins I mean on the solder so that uh, it can quickly melt so that I can uh, use a suction to take out the old solder the the only problem with using a conventional method is that you need to be uh, you need to have a good uh, skill in soldering so that you can easily remove it Just like this one, uh, the the solder looks like um, does not melt easily. So I have to introduce uh, a new solder so that I can take out the old solder. It is so hard to take out without uh, putting in flux there. Although I, I put flux, the old solder won't uh, easily melt. So I have to put in some more solder. I mean lead then okay using a uh, suction tool while you're hitting the uh, old uh, solder I mean the lead well um, I'm not so sure if you can see it the uh, the lead the old lead does not get up easily it's still there there's still a presence of old lead there so now I will show you the better way for me it's the best way to do it using an aluminum uh, tape usually you buy this from a hardware store 
there's a copper tape there's an aluminum tape um, the purpose is to uh, cover the adjacent uh, components so that uh, I will be introducing a heat gun so far for me I've been using heat gun almost throughout my uh, uh, motherboard repair and um, I tell you it's it's the best way and it's a cleaner way to remove a uh, solder from especially from a multiple uh, terminal uh, component just like a USB port or a DC power jack okay so let me take out this uh, soldering iron and now uh, let me put in the heat gun I'm not so sure if you have a heat gun but uh, you can just buy it from a hardware store um, if you think a heat gun is more expensive then uh, might as well uh, settle for a uh, soldering iron but uh, for me this can take out any component I mean so far most components uh, in a clean way okay so let me find a metal protection so that um, I, I won't damage the uh, the table that uh, I'm working on right now uh, you can use any metal put it underneath the motherboard so that you can uh, easily uh, pry the uh, USB port I'm using a prior here any any uh, metal that you can stick in between the the space in between that uh, uh, port and uh, PCB okay so use heat gun and uh, adjust it to low uh, heat don't put uh, too much heat and uh, just don't put too much uh, heat on that particular uh, area there if you think it's already hot enough then uh, take out the it, it looks like it's uh, not that easy to take out using that uh, dental knife I, I am using right now Mm, get a uh, flat screwdriver I think it's a lot better let me let me uh, put in a flat screwdriver yeah this one here okay so place it inside that uh, you you will know if it's uh, if it's hot enough because uh, the 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 particular component will just easily uh, come off just try to wiggle it until it comes loose but don't put too much heat uh, you should not burn that area there okay let me put some more heat there um, just take note of what I'm doing with the heat gun as soon as I think I'm, it's a little bit hot I remove it right away take it out and then put it back there you go yeah right, now it comes loose there you go okay uh, using the suction uh, tool take out the excess uh, uh, lead so that the um, the pin through holes are like uh, clean So that's how easy it is to uh, take out the uh, port it could have uh, taken you so much time to remove it using the uh, solder and the uh, suction okay so you see it's it's really clean and uh, I have not I have not burned uh, the plastic portion of that uh, USB report and the sockets itself are really clean
also on the other side okay so um, remember that uh, this is a bit hot uh, I just touched it and it, uh, it it's really hot so and also the on that uh, on the side of on the part of that the motherboard it's it's also hot so if you can wear gloves it's a lot better it would uh, protect your skin yeah it's it's really hot yeah so I'm gonna put this back because uh, the USB uh, port itself is uh, still good yeah well, I'll just do this later but anyhow when you put it back uh, assuming that the, the USB is uh, broken so get a new one and then use your solder soldering tool and um, uh, use a good uh, water-based lead to uh, solder it back uh, if you want to know where I buy uh, the ports uh, just go to my blog www.ifixiteasy.com uh, for more tips and uh, details and on this video thank you so much for watching see you there bye bye